Hello YouTube and welcome to How to Prison Architect. In this episode we will be talking about a little more about well a lot more about prison nodes. Basically gangs. The cell quality of the prisoners and the types of prisoners you can get. We are going to be doing this in very 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 low frames per second. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just because how big this stupid prison is. Not doing it in the other one because of it doesn't really have much of the things I need to explain. You're an idiot. Okay. So to begin, gangs. This prison doesn't have gangs, so I won't be able to demonstrate any of those mechanics, but I can say what they do. So gangs can come in for normal security or high security so low risk they don't have gangs normal risk they come but very very unlikely uh, high risk they're most likely to come in high risk so if you want 100% gangs have a high risk prison okay so uh, what happens when in a gang in prison architect if a prisoner in a gang is attacked or attacks or starts a riot any nearby gang members will come and assist I ignore that stopping prisoner um, so for example if this guy starts a fight with this guy all these people are a member of his gang he's gonna die okay so second in the intelligence screen which would be here there will be a little box right here next to informants in that box it will say gangs and when you click that another box appears Another box appears on your right over here. Over here on your right. Over here there will be two main things that are being displayed. One would be the name uh, type of the gang, how many kills the gang has accomplished, and if you I'm assuming if you click it, it would display each member in that game. So that's what that does. How to stop gangs? Well, that would be by, or oh, much gang activity, I should say. If you click on any prisoner, any prisoner you have, and go to a cell, anyone you have. So I can say all oh, the one, this one over here and right click in that cell that will be the cell so depending on which one I click here they will be escorted by a cop or a guard I'm assuming it's that one since he stopped yep so this guard is going to transport him to his new cell over to this cell once he gets there he just acts like a normal prisoner again and goes accomplish all his regime stuff so what does this do exactly if you do this and have a prisoner all the way over here in a gang and then have another gang member all the way over here that will stop them from helping each other especially if you have multiple canteens like this prison has Although this, this isn't really a good example considering all the normal risk goes to this one and then all the high risk goes to that one. But anyways, that's a way to solve a little bit. Okay, so the uh, cell so quality. So some, these cells are 2 by 3. 3 by 2, not 2 by 3. 3 by 2 which is equals of a total of six box 
uh, squares. So you can either have six squares, nine squares, or sixteen squares. Nine squares being three by three, and sixteen squares being four by four, obviously. That will influence it a little bit. And then you have some items you can place in here. So, one of the items you can have is shower heads. Another one is an office desk, a chair, a bookshelf, a TV, a radio, and an outside window. So, I believe I have some windows down over here. Yeah, right here. So, some of these prisoners, so this guy has a cell quality of one. One. Oh, there we go. This guy has a cell quality of two. So, that means I have most likely a window in his cell because I don't put phones or anything else in there. I just recently did these windows too, so. He, he's a cell quality of two. Holy crap, that guy has a lot of money. Spend your money, man. I want him back. Okay. So, what's the benefit of doing this? Or increasing the cell quality? The higher the cell quality, the less inclined the prisoner is to violate anything. So, destroy a table or destroy the toilet or something in the ways of that. Or attacking prisoners or a god. That's the benefit of doing that. So, if you're having trouble with your prison and you can't keep your prisoners under control and they're always fighting and stuff like that, try putting some desk or not not really a desk, but radios and TVs and maybe a window for them to see out. To calm them down a little bit so the types of prisoners you can get types of prisoners are normal risk low risk high risk uh, hold on that no that not that this Minimum security, normal security, maximum security, protective custody, and normal max. You also, you also have death row. So, minimum security. Minimum security are more tolerant for the needs not being met. They also, they will try to escape if they spot a opportunity. So if this door is open and there's a, well, this door didn't exist. They will try to escape, although they won't because I have another door up here, but pretend that door is in there. So, they will try to escape. Uh, the grant, they have a grant of $300, so when they first come and the normal uh, daily cash flow, they have 300 added to that and when they first come. Okay, so medium security. They have a grant of 500 and are a mix of hostile and complaint. Which also means they don't. They just don't care. They will happily start fights, but they will easily surrender at the same time. So they will also obviously try escape and build tunnels like those um, so now we have maximum security maximum security gives you a grant of a thousand dollars each and likely to complain about their needs so there are many many needs they have uh, super max oh yeah hold on I wasn't done with the maximum they will start fights and they won't hesitate attacking guards or anything like that so that includes doctors and workmen and cooks and people like those 
uh, Supermax are assigned by the player going to clicking on a prisoner and saying Supermax. Uh, the use of Supermax would be to keep prisoners that killed someone away from every other prisoner. So if you just want them in a certain area, you can do so. Second, it would be, well, not second, but you know what I mean, uh, would be protective custody. But protective custody, which I have up in this right corner, where yellow, yellow shorts and stuff, and are assigned by players. So by clicking and saying protective custody. This is mainly used to just allow other prisoners from killing them. They will target ex law enforcement and snitches. They will also target informants that have has their cover blown. So I seen one, so let's so to find one you just have to look. It's a good idea to look when prisoners first arrive, but if you haven't done that you can easily just find them. So here's one. I made him protective custody now. There's also one in here somewhere. I believe that guy. Yeah, this guy. So I can easily make him a protective custody. Uh, oh, here's another guy. He's a snitch. Snit snitches are, are targeted and they will kill him that I found. They're less likely to kill them, but they still kill them. I had many snitches die in the past. Uh, that's all I see at the moment. So snitch and ex-law enforcement will mostly be under normal and low risk so there's no need to check on people down here for example your high risk people that's pretty much all I found so yep okay so those are assigned by the player as well as I said by doing exactly what I just did so death row last but not least they are reckless they will try to kill and do many many things considering they're going to die anyway so there's no point of carrying their consequence because they already have one quite a severe one so these guys are only accepted if you have a death row ring or a death row block so to do this you will have to go to your deployment and say okay so for you to get death row prisoners you have to go to bureaucracy get legal and then legal will get death row and several other ones so once you have death row done, you will get most likely a deployment option saying I want death row over here. So you just click it and then that's not considered a thing. Oh, okay. You just click it and click where you want. So there you go. they get a grant of two thousand five hundred dollars so if you're running low there's your big giant option for it so that is pretty much everything you need to know about prison knows uh, most things that you need to know if there's something that you want me to cover in a future up uh, future 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 uh, video leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it and if you don't 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out in some way. And I'll see you next time.